Okay, I want to welcome everybody to the second fall class of 2013. Larry's working on a stave there on the schnitzel bunk. And as I pan over, Christy's come back for a second class and she's doing the same thing. Right now they're in the stages of just making their staves for their buckets. And we got Mike buried back here in the corner hogging all the light. I know the light's blinding my video camera there a little bit. Mike is using a straight draw knife right now. He's doing the outside of the stave, which is called backing. And then as I pan back over to Christy, I'll zoom in a little bit. She's using a curved draw knife, which is hollowing the stave. And a treat for me today. This is Beverly working on her staves right now. Beverly is the oldest person I've ever had in the class, and she's doing a great job today. Beverly even talked her son into coming. This is Howard over here working on his stays. We're not sure who talked who into it, but they're here and hopefully having a good time. But this is the early process of making the stays. They have a lot to do, a lot of great noise. And there's Paul, one of the Coopers here at the Black Swamp Cooperage, helping. He's right now repairing a chair just so he has somewhere to sit. He's making all that noise. Sounds really good on a video. Okay, Howard, let's go. You got like six more to go. No. And the day continues. Larry here is working on a stave using a curved draw knife, so he's working on the inside hollowing. And as I pan over to his bench, he's got a whole stack of them done. And then just beyond is Christy, working on another stave. Mike here, he's working on a piece for his wedge for his joiner. Class is coming along, and Beverly's doing a great job hanging in there showing these young bucks how to do it. Mike's making a fine adjustment with his saw. Larry double checking his work with his master stave. Everybody's doing a great job. Now we're in the the afternoon of day one. Larry is now in the process of using the bow saw. He's going to square off the bottom of his bucket. And in a minute, Mike is going to make adjustments to his plane. And he's about... Craig! Okay, folks. As you look at this gentleman in the red shirt, his name is Craig. I've called him Mike so many times today, I'm ashamed. But he's going to plane some more over here. Look at this nice pile of staves. Those are all done by Howard here. He's still working on one. But not to be outdone, there's his mother. Beverly, doing a great job today working on her staves. And then as I pan around, there's Paul shaving down one of the staves. And we've got Christy. Still working on some staves. She says her standards are slipping as each one gets done. Well, I've only got two days. Yes, you do. If I come back a third day, it's going to cost you. <laughs> oh, everybody's doing such a fantastic job. I hope they're having a good time. I 
I don't know why Howard takes his glasses off to see how he's doing, but he does. <laughs> Full of activity in the Black Swamp Cooperage at Souter Village in Archibald, Ohio. And yes, Larry is wearing gloves. As class continues, we got Beverly now using the, the planer. She's running the staves over the joiner, putting an edge on them. And then right beside her, we have Craig. Hey, I got his name right, Craig. Is also using his joiner, putting an edge on it. And as I scroll over here, Howard is doing the exact same thing. And then I'll come over here. Larry has his in hoops. And he's actually using a tool called a scorp. And I'll come down close. And that tool evens out the whole inside of the stays. So Larry's is looking pretty good. This is Larry's second class in Christie's. So they kind of knew what to expect today. Beverly, I think, is about ready to just smack me. And Paul is gathering up all of our chips for our stove. Having a great day in the Black Swamp Cooperage. And we're back on the second day of Black Swamp Cooperage class. Larry's working on the bottom. Putting a little taper on the edge of his... Here's one that he's got done. He's got a two-part bottom for this bucket. It's going to be a firkin bucket. And so he's doing a real good job. And pan over here. Howard's getting hoops on his bucket. Looking great. And as we scroll back, Beverly's come back tonight, or this morning. And she's using a scorp. Cleaning the inside out of her bucket. And as I scroll over here is Craig. I'm starting the day off right today. Craig is using the crows. He's cutting the groove in the bottom of his bucket. All of them are doing really good this morning. And here's Christy over here using a scorp as well. So all the buckets are in hoops. And we're doing a really good job today. And yes, Cooper Paul is in the building. Here we are again. Larry is using a spoke shave. He's smoothing the outside of his firkin bucket. I'm going to scroll behind here to show you. Look at his bottom. His bottom is nice and neat, nice and tight. And now he's just using the spoke shave to smooth his bucket. And as I come behind me, Christy's using the crows on the inside of her bucket. Um, she's making a firkin bucket as well. And I'll just lift the camera a little bit as you can see Craig in the background working on his bottom with a spoke shave. And as I scroll over, Beverly over there on her schnitzel bunk, she's working on the outside of her bucket, putting a little edge on it, smoothing it out a little bit, because we really only have one good crows. And then Paul has been here all day helping us, but I come over here to Howard. Howard's getting tired. He's running out of gas, but he's using a scorp and he's cleaning the inside of his bucket out. So as you see, all five are doing a fantastic job getting their buckets ready. Okay, we got Howard using the crows now on his bucket. Actually, he's got his going real well. And now Chrissy over here is working on her bottom. And there's her bucket along with Craig's. Craig shaving a little bit down. He tried to get his in. Still a little too big, and over here we got Larry. His two bottom bands are on, but now he's just smoothing out the top. He's leaving the character, the patina. So hopefully they're all having a good time. I can see that they're all getting tired, though. They're wearing down. Oh, Chrissy knows it's getting close to lunchtime. We'll be heading over to the barn 